Warning. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Trying to duplicate the shown procedures may result in serious injury or even death. Hi. In this video I'll recover palladium from 1.7 kg ceramic capacitors. The capacitors are calcined using a propane torch. The calcium capacitors are ground in a coffee grinder. For the smelting I'll be using 2.5 kg lead metal. The capacitors are added to the crucible. adding the lead.
Adding silver contact points. The charge is covered with borax. After adding sodium hydroxide, Fifteen minutes later the charge is poured into a stainless steel pot and left to cool. After cooling most of the slag was removed. The lead doré was re-melted, poured into a large cupel and then cupelled. When most of the lead oxide was absorbed by the large cupel, the remaining lead was moved to a smaller one for the fine cupelling. Weighting of the silver palladium doré.
dissolving the dore in nitric acid. The nitric solution is added to hydrochloric acid with constant stirring to precipitate the silver and any residual lead as silver chloride and lead chloride. Solution is denoxed with sulfamic acid. Filtration. Second filtration. The filtrate is divided in two parts which will be processed separately. The first part of the filtrate was heated and formic acid was added to it. While heating the solution some precipitate appeared.
Adding sodium carbonate. The solution is boiling. Adding more sodium carbonate. At this point the solution changed color and became cloudy.
I continued adding sodium carbonate until the foam turned white and the solution blackened. After prolonged boiling palladium sponge appeared at the bottom of the beaker. The boiling continues until the solution became transparent.
After decanting the barren solution, the precipitate is washed with distilled water. The palladium is transferred to a smaller beaker for easier handling and the washing continues. Boiling in distilled water. Final rinse with distilled water and decanting. While drying the palladium sponge in the small beaker, I repeated the process with the second part of the filtrate.
The second palladium sponge was washed in the same manner and left to dry with the other.
the palladium powder from the small beaker is transferred to a melting dish and melted into a button. Melting the powder from the large beaker. I accidentally spilled some powder from the second batch on the floor while moving it to the melting dish, so I decided to melt the sweeps too.
Then I melted all three buttons into one big button. after boiling in citric acid to remove the excess borax. Thirty grams. This is seventeen grams palladium per kilogram of capacitors, which is far from the minimum twenty grams per kilogram that this type should yield. Since thirty-two grams is the maximum for large species, I was hoping for something in the middle. I did not like the high viscosity of the melt from the beginning, so the slag was the first thing I checked for remaining values and surprise surprise, it was rich in metal inclusions. Remelting of the slag with double the amount of sodium hydroxide as flux produced nice, runny melt. I managed to squeeze out another 700 grams of lead doré. This time the slag was homogeneous and free from inclusions. A simple calculation shows that 700 grams doré are about 25% of the total amount of metal used, therefore if 75% yielded 30 grams palladium then this 25% should yield another 10 grams palladium. I took out 49 grams of lead doré for a saying.
XRF of the button's bottom. XRF of the button's top. After cupelling the 700 grams lead doré was reduced to 49 grams precious metals doré. Digestion in nitric acid. Just as with the previous doré the solution was added to hydrochloric acid, denoxed with sulfamic acid and then filtered. Palladium was reduced from the filtrate using formic acid and sodium carbonate. The palladium powder was washed, dried and melted. Seventeen grams palladium. What a pleasant surprise. Forty seven point five grams total weight of the both buttons. That's more like it. Let's melt them together.
Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below.